All right. So a new study out of K, uh, KPMG this morning, many CEOs, uh, says many CEOs, uh, rather, throughout the world are looking to hire. That's good news. The company's heads say they expect to go into hiring mode through mid-2018. Joining me with that and more is KPMG Global Chairman John V. Meyer. John, good morning and thank you. Good morning, Sandra. Sounds like you have some refreshing news for us this morning. So hiring. This is a good thing. It is good news. I mean, the headline is uh, confidence has increased over the prior year. Mm -hmm. You know, when you ask CEOs around the world, are you more confident than you were a year ago? Uh, it's a resounding yes. Why are, and, they, why are and, CEOs so optimistic right now? You know, I think if you, can, if you look outside the U.S. at where things were a year ago, it's not surprising that today they're feeling much more confident. Europe has clearly, you know... Uh, rebounded in a pretty significant way. So it's not more it's year. not so much John a story about where we are today, it's more where we came from it's, and comparatively. It's trying to ask compared to where you were thought okay. the world, the economy, your company was going a year ago, are you feeling better or worse about that at this point? And and the really good news to your earlier point is that increased confidence and optimism on the part of the CEOs has them saying over the next three years they're going to be hiring and they're going to be hiring aggressively, you know, with uh, more than half the CEOs saying they expect their headcount to be up six to ten percent over the next three years. And that's great news for the global economy. But topping economy. their list of where their concerns are mm -hmm. is escalating competitive pressures. Uh, we are in an extremely competitive global environment when it comes to business. And 86% of respondents said that they're concerned about the loyalty of their customer base. Yeah, I mean, one of the other messages that comes through really clearly, and it's certainly consistent with what I hear when I meet with CEOs on a regular basis, is we are in an incredibly competitive environment. And CEOs are more worried today than I think they've ever been in terms of things like loyalty of their customers, the ability of new competitors to disrupt them, uh, and frankly, the relevance of their product and service over the next three years is something that comes through very clearly as a big concern. And <clears throat> you see that translating into uh, when they talk about what their capital spending plans are. It's in things that are intended to address some of that competitiveness. It's, it's geographic expansion outside your home country. It's investing in new product development, all of those things. So, John, how do you, how do you put into play the high, highest corporate tax rate in the industrialized world, the lack of regulatory and tax certainty, the implementation uh, of Obamacare, cybersecurity threats, unrest in, the, uh, you know, in many parts of the world. How does that all take into account uh, what the CEOs are now doing? Well, as you just started to enumerate, there's a lot of risks and concerns out there. And again, how do you balance uh, I'm, that? Not, I'm not at all here to say this isn't a challenging yeah. environment for CEOs to manage their way through at all. But what we are seeing is an increasing confidence from a trend line standpoint in, in where we're headed. And frankly, those issues, which are largely or a lot of them are U.S. based. Um, yeah. Concerns, repatriating all we, that offshore we, money would be a nice non-governmental stimulus. What, three trillion dollars potentially to get that economy moving? We'd have even more growth potentially. Yeah, we're certainly seeing a little less <clears throat> of a jump in confidence it, by, on the part of U.S. CEOs versus CEOs outside. Right. The U.S. and I think a lot of those regulatory tax uh, kind of issues weigh heavy on the minds of U.S. CEOs for sure. John, you talked about all the ways a company can spend its money, but what about wages? What about wage increases? Or do you expect to see sustained wage increases? Here you know, in that's um, harder to tell. There's some conflicting information in the study uh, about that. I think. Uh, the good news is, if CEOs are talking about hiring that much mm -hmm. and how competitive the environment is, and they talk about skills gaps quite a bit when we ask them a number of questions. I think you put those things together and they actually combine for a picture which says wages will have to go up as, as CEOs are worried about uh, escalating gaps in skills between the people they can find and what they need. Right. That bodes well, I think, for that increased hiring being at uh, increased uh, I thought one wages. Of the, one of the most telling points uh, to this survey was in terms of issues having the greatest impact on a company's prospects and performance. The top three in issues identified by CEOs that answered the survey were global economic growth, they're concerned about growth, regulatory environment, what's next out of Washington, obviously a big one, <laughs> and disruptive technology, which is obviously ever-changing. So, all right, John V. Meyer, thank you for joining us. Uh, sure. this morning. Thanks, Sandra. All right, well, coming up.